Hey guys, welcome back to Shenanigans 4x4. Today I'm putting an Adventure King's rooftop tent on the top on my tub rack on the Ranger. Ew, Adventure Kings. I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot tent pot. Shut up, you. Go inside. I know Kings don't have the best reputation for the quality of the products, but hey, it's an entry level product. I'm going to be going camping in November on the Murray. So I'll be putting this to use then with a couple of mates. I've also got the six man annex to go along with it so that when we go away camping as a family, we've got room for all the kids. I'll be giving my thoughts, good and bad, on this tent after sleeping in it for a couple of nights. So if it's after November, there'll be a video up here to take a look at that. All right, let's open her up and see what's in store. So I've measured the distance between the crossbars on the underside of the tent, uh, roughly about 800 mil apart. So I'm going to have to move the top supports on my tub rack to roughly the same area just to give it a bit more support underneath. Then I'll have to get a hand to lift this thing on.
the rooftop tent installed. Uh, make a part two showing the inside and setting up the six man annex. As far as the insulation, it's pretty simple. Um, the only thing I'd recommend when installing these crossbars to the tent, uh, just make sure that they're square, 100% square. Uh, if you're attaching to a tub rack like I am, which the tub rack is square, the bolts really had a hard time lining up. I uh, had to undo the bolts in here and uh, let them fall into place while I was in the tent, which was a bit scary. As far as the quality of the product goes, uh, that's still yet to be determined. Um, the manufacturing process left a bit of swarf in the mattress. Um, I, I left some swarf because of my drillings as well, but that's just something to keep in mind. Make sure you vac it out when you set it up the first time. But yeah, happy so far. We'll see what the full setup will be like and then take it camping in November. Uh, like I said, I'll do a full in-depth tour and my thoughts after camping in it for a couple of nights. Then that video will be here if November has already passed. Right, cheers for watching guys. See you in the next one.